Hello? Did you like that? I liked it. Um, the nerds are gonna ask me how I did that, or what it, what was going on. So if you don't care, just leave now. Thanks for watching. I'll tell you what's going on if you if you care to know. Not that I know, but anyways, let's try and dissect this. Um, so yeah, I just made this these four songs with this kind of patch. I would sort of repatch a little between songs, but basically what's happening is it's contact mics controlling the synth. So there's one, and I'm tapping it, and you can see the second ears is lighting up when I tap it, and the first one is the kick drum, so like that's controlling a bunch of stuff. Um, so like the envelope generator, the first one is the kick, and it can be long or short, so that controls like the bass, and then the snare. If I hit it hard, the second envelope generator will go. And they both control... Well, I guess the first one, the bass, the bass voice, is these guys. These are some analog oscillators, and they're kind of out of tune, but it sounds nice. They go through a VCA, which is controlled by the ADSR thing, into the filter. You know, it's like a synth voice, right? It goes out there, whatever. Um, and the way the bass synth gets its notes is it samples from the melody. So like, I'll write the melody on this sequencer, and then every time I hit the kick drum, it'll sample, so it, trig goes in there from kick, kick drum hit, sample is the melody, and out goes to the voice. You know what I mean? So I can pick whatever note is currently playing in the melody and the bass will play that like a couple octaves underneath. Um, but the melody itself is this this one. So like, you know, I'll find a sound I like Yeah, so this was the sequence from one of the tracks. Um, so that's a normal synth voice, it goes through this filter and stuff. Um, and it's, you know, it'll go on its own, but it also sort of reacts, so like... I don't know, maybe that ADSR is doing something, maybe it's not, but it could, it can react to what I'm doing. And it's going through the delay. because you need delay to make electronic music. And spring reverb. You know, for that old school vibe. What else do we have? I'm not really using, there's a bunch of modules in here I'm actually not really using. Um, oh, and the rings, that's the last voice. So, again, it's a contact mic, just tape. Symbol, <laughs> um, and that's also it's basically getting the same melody as the bass, as the as the kick drum thing, but like really high up, and it has a weird sound to it. So that's that's always an option. Um, I don't know. I mean, what else do you want to know? These guys are doing clocking and clocked modulation. Uh, MIDI, no. That's doing like the envelope for the melody. So we get long and short notes. Oh, one cool thing that I found out how to do is like sort of side chaining. So like if I hit the kick, uh, Um, the snare will like muffle the kick, or the bass, like... You 
hear that? Like, that envelope muffles the other one. <clears throat> it's cool because this envelope generator has inverse envelope outputs. You can't really see it, but yeah, that's the upside down envelope. And I'm just plugging that. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just summing that with the normal envelope before it goes to the, where does it go? To that, to the VCA, right there. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty neat. And also this one, I'm using it as like a she sequence shifter. So it's on like a two, you know, it, it just goes between these two values in time. And that's basically like transposing the sequence. Transpose. Transpose. So that's how I get like a little chord progression happening. Um, Cause this has a cool like diatonic transposition input, which is nice. Um, but yeah, and once I have that, I just perform. I mean, I also have some samples in there, like. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, so yeah, just in case you wanted to know like what I'm up to. All right, stop. Stop, I said. Okay. Um, thanks for listening to me. Bye.